Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our inspirational interview series. I'm Hannah Levin from Heartfelt Wellbeing, and I'm super excited to introduce our guest today. I do want to remind you all that we are live here in Facebook right now, but this will also be shared on YouTube. And you're welcome to check out these interviews um, as a replay. If you're watching them on Facebook replay, give us a hashtag replay so we know you've been here and let us know your questions and feedback. And um, if you're here with us live, we'll wait for some folks to come on here. <laughs> Nobody's here yet, but um, feel free to chime in with questions along the way. Here they come. So our guest today is Nikita, and she is a mindset business coach and host of the podcast, She's Crafted to Thrive. Doesn't that podcast sound just super empowering? She was diagnosed with endometriosis in 2009 and fibromyalgia in 2010. These diagnoses inspired her to use the training she received from previous jobs to jumpstart her career as a business coach. Nikita learned that having a chronic illness did not limit her potential. In fact, it helped her see the possibilities for herself and for her clients. Her coaching method incorporates psychoaromatherapy, EFT, and strategy to help her clients have a complete life and business transformation. Her aim is to help all creative women, especially those who have a chronic illness, to share their stories without feeling shame or feeling incapable and to motivate these brilliant women to use their story as fuel so they can be successful, create the life they deserve, and most importantly, thrive. So I'm super excited to welcome Nikita to Inspirational Interviews, and here she is. Hey. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for joining us today. I'm really excited to have this conversation with you. So um, I just read a little bit about you, but can you tell us a little bit more about your story and, and how you came to be who you are today? <laughs> uh, I love that question um, because it's one of those, you know, it's one of those things I always tell people like life is so up and down and there is not like a one path. And if someone had told me if this was the path I would be on 10 years ago, I would have been like, you're crazy. Who are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so um, for me, I feel like the, the, my journey shifted the most um, from living with chronic illness and kind of being this very not so positive place that I used to live in, in my mm -hmm. mind and in my body when a really good friend reached out to me who had gone through some of the similar things that I had gone through and was telling me like, look, there's hope there, you know, there's other ways to manage this. And at the time when she reached out to me, she was um, using essential oils. And I just, I thought it was hilarious. Honestly, I'm not even going to kid. I was like, I mean, I mean, I'm getting like real pain meds, like quote unquote, real pain right. meds. So um, you think some, bath salts oil stuff is going to help this I don't think so <laughs> and so it's just like I know it's crazy you probably don't even realize that they're this powerful but let's just work together and see if this is going to help and at that point I was really desperate and was just like mm -hmm. I'll try anything I'll try anything and essential oils became a huge part of my journey to healing inside out and tell people all the mm. time like it's a journey of really inside out what we experience physically is to me is just a manifestation of what's going on inside yeah and that was a huge shift for me I just remember the first time she sent me this blend of course you need to do um sp spotch testing and making sure everything's safe and everything was good but the first time I used essential oils for pain I was like wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. 15 minutes later, I was like, I don't feel like I need to go to the hospital. Mm. I don't feel like I'm like out of control. Like, you know, when you're in discomfort and you're in a lot of pain, you feel besides the pain, you feel really powerless. Yeah. And you know, that feeling, if you've experienced it for a long time, though, so experience, like I was like, wait a minute, I can just have all these little bottles of things around me that can support me inside out. I just thought it was amazing. And so that became, I feel like 
I tell people that's the journey that started my healing journey to mm-hmm. thriving to where I am today. And okay. it's the thing that is incorporated in everything I do now. Um, essential oils mm-hmm. is a huge part of that. Um, mindset work and all of those beautiful things that come along with that is a really big part of my journey. So before you found, before this friend introduced you to essential oils, were you pretty much like a Western medicine all the way? Like you, you hadn't really explored what we call alternative therapies well, or yes and you- no. Mm-hmm. I had explored other therapies, but I feel like I feel like there are, like, we were talking about this a little bit before the show, like, you are very gentle in talking about how we heal. And Mm -hmm. I, like, through, through all of the good things of the earth and all of those good things. And then there was a time in my journey, which, like, like you had mentioned, 2009, I feel like there was this health craze that was a little big fanatic, like a little bit Mm -hmm. not. 